Hello and welcome to Soap Papers Channels. I'm Godfrey. In this video, I am solving a Cambridge A2 chemistry. Uh, topic is electrochemistry. This is a October November 2019 exam series. Uh, it's always good to revise, to do your revision topic wise as you prepare for your exams. Uh, this is something that I always emphasize to my students. Uh, we, read a given topic and when the content is still fresh in your uh, in your mind attempt questions uh, that are set on a given topic for several years in this way you will get an exposure of the key areas that are testing that topic and you will be um, in a better position uh, when it comes to CT for your exams uh, a star will be um, a grant that you can be able to achieve when you go through this route um, before we get started, if you have not already sus subscribed to my channel, please click the subscribe button and hit the bell icon. This way you will be notified every time I upload a new video. And um, let's get started. Um, uh, always, you can use this to refer to the past paper or the marquee scheme. Um, this is um, paper 4.1. And um, this question was question number one uh, in October October 2019 exam series 9701. This is the exam code uh, for chemist A level uh, C A E. Uh, very well. Um, let's get started. An electrochemical cell is constructed using two cells. Of course, uh, one cell is one of the half cell is for tin uh, ions. Uh, tin uh, uh, for oxidation 4 and oxidation 2. And the other half cell was uh, for aluminium um, and its ions. Uh, state the, materi uh, the material used for electrode in each one of these cells. Uh, for the tin um, cell, which is composed of a mixture of um, um, ions of uh, Oxida tin of oxidation 4 and ions of tin in oxidation 2, the electrode that is suitable for use in this one is uh, platinum, platinum being um, an inert uh, electrode. Uh, you don't use a tin um, electrode here yeah, uh, or tin metal because that will bring a fourth species with another oxidation state. A tin um, metal uh, is of oxidation state uh, 0, right? Therefore, you'll have now oxidation state 4, 2, and 0. Therefore, this is not feasible. Aluminium uh, half cell, here you can use uh, aluminium metal because you already have aluminium here in solid state. So, uh, here you'll use um, aluminium. Okay, part B. Or part B. Uh, the cell is operated at 298 Kelvin. 298 is uh, 25 degrees Celsius, uh, which is the required um, temperature uh, for a standard condition or what we call uh, a cell uh, that is uh, operating under standard electrode potential. Uh, aluminium of cell has a standard con uh, concentration. We are told that. But the uh, tin half cell, uh, the concentration are 0 0.3 moles per liter and uh, for oxygen state of tin ions is 0 0.15 moles per liter, which are not standard concentration. Standard concentration, remember, is always one mole per liter. So these are not standard con uh, condition. Uh, these are the standard, uh, these are the concentration of the zinc, of the aluminium. Uh, half cell because it is operating it is under standard condition uh, so um, part one we are taught to use the next equation to calculate the electrode potential of the uh, E of course this is the um, electrode potential under non-standard conditions uh, you can see the, uh, the conditions are not standard because the concentration are not one mole per liter uh, of the and tin half cell under these conditions, non standard conditions. And therefore, uh, the next equation uh, is what we know too well 
uh, of course the next question is um, uh, e since it is under 25 if the condition that uh, the temperature is 25 uh, you can use this uh, um, form of nested question uh, if the temperature is not uh, 25 degrees Celsius then you need to use the full um, equation of nested um, this is oxidized concentration of the oxidized there divide by the concentration of the reduced um, reduced all right um, of course when you uh, look at your data uh, um, when you look at your data book you find that the uh, the standard electrode um, potential for um, tin uh, cell is 0 0.15 uh, volts so that's what you're going to be using here therefore you can write this equation of course to know what is z you can write the equation um, this reaction here um, tin in oxidation state 4 will require two electrons to be converted to uh, tin of oxidation state uh, 2 and therefore uh, Z in this case will be two, two electrons, two moles of electrons will be involved in this uh, reaction here. Of course, this is the reduced uh, form of, uh, this is the reduced uh, form of uh, um, tin, and this is the oxidized form of tin. This is the oxidized uh, form of uh, tin ions. So then, uh, therefore, we need to factor in, in this. So the standard uh, electrode potential for uh, this kind of cell, you look up it in your data booklet, you find it 0 0.1 volts plus, uh, of course, 0 0.059 uh, divided by Z, which is 2 here. Uh, Z is 2 log oxidation of the oxidized. Uh, oxidized is this one. So Oxidation is 0 0.3, uh, reduction, I mean concentration is 0 0.3 moles per liter, divide by, uh, of course you can just write uh, 0 0.3, uh, divide by the concentration of the uh, reduce, which is uh, 0 0.15, and uh, when you calculate, um, when you do correct evaluation, you're going to get uh, 0 point, uh, this is going to be plus 0 point one five eight eight which is approximately um plus zero point one six volts so the electrode potential of the non-standard uh, condition of uh, the tin ion half cell is uh, zero point one six volts uh, there you are this is plus um part two calculate the E cell under this condition, uh, of course, um, the electrode, uh, the standard electron potential of this um, cell will be the standard electrode uh, of the reduced species minus the elect standard electrode of the oxidized. Okay, so here we have uh, the reduced is uh, plus. Uh, 0 0.16 uh, minus the oxidized which is uh, uh, 1.66 you can get this one from the uh, data booklet and therefore you'll find that um, this will give you uh, plus 1.82 volts so E cell of this cell is um, 1.8 Eight two. Of course, this is for um, the the e cell under this condition. The e cell for a cell between uh, the cell of aluminium and uh, tin um, uh, ions. Of course, the reduced is uh, the tin because it is the more positive. Uh, when you look at the data booklet, this is the um, e cell of aluminium half cell, and it is um, less positive. So you get uh, the 
e cell of the reduced minus a cell of, of, of oxidized. Oxidized is more negative, reduced is more positive. And therefore, the e cell of aluminium, uh, a tin, um, electrochemical cell is 1.82 volts. Right, an equation for the overall reaction that occurs. Of course, um, the reduced uh, form of tin will be this plus two electrons, uh, giving us uh, the oxidized form of, I mean, the reduced form of tin there. Then for aluminium, aluminium will be this. This is the oxidized part of aluminium. Uh, to lose three electrons. So you can see we have two electrons here and three electrons here. To balance the electrons, we multiply this one by um, three. Multiply by three. And we multiply this one by two. And that way we'll have gotten um, six electrons and six electrons. And then we add the two equations. We add the two equations. We add, so this will be 3 here, this will be 6, this will be 3, this will be 2, and this will be 2. So this will be now uh, 3, um, this will be 3 lead ions plus 2 aluminium. Um, this will give us uh, three uh, lead two ions uh, plus this aluminium here which is two aluminium three ions so the electrons will, will cancel because they are six six so this is the um, overall equation for the uh, reaction right there part C Aluminium is produced industrially by electrolysis of melting uh, <coughs> over melt containing large amounts of aluminium ion, aluminium three ions. Calculate the mass of aluminium that is obtained when a current of three hundred thousand amps is passed uh, for twenty four hours. Give your answer to three uh, SF. So we talk about um, the mass of aluminium when aluminium ions. Which aluminium uh, three ions are uh, melt. Uh, so um, the first thing is write the equation uh, for converting aluminium three to aluminium. Okay, so um, aluminium three ions uh, will require uh, three moles of electrons uh, to give us a mole of aluminium. So here we are saying that 3 moles of aluminium produces 1 mole of um, aluminium. 3 moles of uh, three moles of electrons produces 1 mole of aluminium. Um, so 3 moles of electrons produce, uh, produces um, 1 mole, uh, 1 mole of aluminium. That's what that expression is saying. Now we know that um, charge is equals to current times times time. So we want to find how much charge has been passed uh, when a current of 300 amperes um, does flow for 24 hours. So um, uh, 300 thousand amps amperes times um, 24. Uh, 24 hours in seconds so 20, 24 times 60 times 60 will give us in a uh, time in seconds therefore when you do a correct evaluation you get 2.592 times 10 raised to power 10 coulombs now we know that one electron the charge on one electron um, you know that the charge on one electron, a mole of one electron, uh, is um, 
96 500 uh, coulombs right so three moles of electrons will have a charge of uh, this times three so it will get us 289 uh, 500 coulombs therefore um, if 289 500 coulombs uh, give us one mole of one mole of uh, aluminium here give us a uh, one mole of aluminium then uh, 2.592 this one here times 10 raised to power 10 coulombs will give us how many moles of aluminium then of course you cross multiply when you do that, you'll get um, 2.592 times 10 raised to power 10 um, times 1 mole. Uh, this is divided by 289.500. And what we get is going to be um, 89,000. 533.7 uh, moles of aluminium to be produced by this charge. We know that uh, the relative atomic mass of aluminium is 27. So, therefore, um, to get the mass, because you're supposed to calculate mass, mass is uh, mass is um, moles times uh, a relative atomic mass here. So the moles is uh, 89 uh, 533.7 times 27. And this will give us um, 2 million 417409. Um, grams. Of course, you can change this one to kilogram by dividing by a thousand. So that will go. So you'll get um, uh, two four one seven, and the units will be kilogram. Right there. If you had given in grams, uh, two million one thousand seven, um, uh, two million four seventeen thousand. 407 grams then your unit set should be grams of course you're supposed to give your answer to 3sf and of course uh, 3sf will be um, 2420 that is 2 uh, 3sf 1 2 3 and that is going to be kilogram so that's our answer um Part D, explain why chromium metal cannot be obtained by electrolysis of dilute aqueous chromium-3 sulfate. Your answer should include data from the data booklet. Of course, um, uh, we are explaining why chromium metal um, in this chromium-2 sulfate, uh, basically we need uh, chromium ions to be reduced to be uh, to gain two electrons uh, to give us uh, chromium of course from the data booklet the standard electrode potential required uh, for this uh, half cell will be minus 0 0.91 volts and therefore <clears throat> if you are to uh, do electrolysis of dilute aqueous uh, chromium sulfate. The other half cell will be the hydrogen cell, which is uh, uh, this. The reduced form of the hydrogen cell will be this, uh, which is hydrogen here. And the electrode, standard electrode potential of hydrogen half cell will be zero, zero volts. And therefore, you can see hydrogen has got a more positive. Um, 
standard electrode potential compared to chromium. And so hydrogen ions will be reduced instead of chromium ions uh, because this is dilute in aqueous solution. So <clears throat> hydrogen, uh, you can now explain, as a more positive, as more positive uh, standard electrode potential E cell and so hydrogen ions hydrogen ions will be will be reduced will be reduced instead instead of chromium 2 ions that's why chromium metal cannot be obtained by uh, this uh, form of electrolysis uh, but of course if it was um, impure chromium metal then it could be melted and then of course it could be obtained in this way you can work out these questions yourself as i guide you and um, you may get this same paper i am solving right now from this site uh, from solvedpapers.cm.uk the site i'm talking about is uh, right here this is the site i'm talking about solved uh, papers.co.uk um, of course I need you to come over here come to chemistry I'm dealing with 2019 uh, you can get also these other years 2019 A2 uh, you come right here at A2 uh, then you'll be um, in this point here of course you get topical questions of 2019 for both November and uh, June of course this is an example of one of the solved um, topical questions uh, we are dealing with November Electrochemist, need you to come here and download this. Of course, you can get all this uh, November and uh, June and uh, topical questions by click here. Click here to get all topical and solved um, in a zip folder, and um, you will be brought over here. So, um, uh, of course, you have physics, chemistry, and mathematics. You need to get it from here. Of course, it's only ten pounds. Uh, you may ask your parents to help you acquire these papers. You can get for both 20, um, 2019 November and also 2019 June uh, right here. You um, can get as many as you can possibly um, uh, want. Also for 2018, 2017, 2016, you cannot get all of these uh, topical questions. Do as much as many as you are able to and um, you will be set yourself in a better position to get your desired uh, ester grade. Um, of course, uh, let me also say that uh, I help students um, who need my help. I do have some online classes at this site, uh, SP Academy. SPAcademy.co.uk. If you need my help. You can get in touch with me um, at this site. The site that I'm referring to is this one. SP Academy is basically Soft Papers Academy. Um, I need you to take time and explore the site. Um, we offer ICT, Mathematics, Physics, Biology and Chemistry. Um, uh, we um, I encourage you to look at the step-by-step -step guide, um, the student guide. Uh, you can also uh, take time and have a uh, look at this small clip here, video, to get familiar with our online live classes. Uh, once you have uh, uh, made up your mind, uh, we need you to register. Um, of course, when you register, you are basically creating your own account. You will create your own account and we will send you an email um, to the email address you give us. So give us a correct email address. Um, in that email, you will need to click an activation uh, code there. Once you activate your account, then we need you to come here and sign in. And in your dashboard, then you can find a tutor. You can click here to find a tutor and we'll be able to help you. So hopefully I'll be seeing you in my online uh, classes. I'll be glad to be of help to you as you pursue your uh, your ESTER um, in Chemist A2. Uh, Let's continue with number two. Number two was set from uh, variant 4.2, and this was question number one of October 2019. 
an electrochemical cell is constructed using two half cells. Uh, one is for bromine, uh, gas and these ions, and the other one is for the uh, manganese uh, ions, manganese ion 3 and manganese ion 2, half cell state the material uh, used for the electrodes in each one of these half cells. Uh, bromine is a gas and this is an, these are ions, so the electrode that is suitable for this is uh, platinum. So platinum will be the best suited uh, electrode right there. Of course, from the ions of manganese, uh, platinum will also be the most suitable here. Of course, you cannot use a manganese uh, metal because you will be introducing a third oxidation state um, of manganese. We have two already oxidation state of manganese, manganese 3 and manganese 2, and this is manganese 0. And therefore, those are three oxidation states which are not um, permissible. Uh, part B, the cell is operated at 298 Kelvin. 298 Kelvin is basically 25 degrees Celsius, um, temperature of 25 degrees Celsius. Uh, so a bromine half cell has a standard concentration. A standard concentration means that the concentration of uh, aluminium, uh, sorry, so concentration of brom uh, bromide ions is uh, one mole per litre dm cubed. That is, the manganese uh, half cell uh, as manganese uh, three as uh, uh, zero point five. Moles per litre, uh, manganese 2 is 0 0.1 moles per dm cubed, which are non standard conditions. Uh, use the next equation to calculate the electrode potential of the manganese half cell under this condition. Of course, the temperature is 25 degrees Celsius, so then we can use this form of uh, the next equation. Um, I'm sure you're familiar with this 0 0.059 over Z. Uh, logarithm to base 10 of the oxidized species, uh, concentration of the oxidized species uh, divided by the concentration of the reduced uh, species uh, right there. And of course we need to know what is Z. To know what is Z you need to write uh, the reaction taking place in the manganese uh, half cell. So manganese 3 ions will receive one electron to be converted to uh, manganese 2 ions. Okay, so uh, that means that Z is equals to one, uh, one mole of electrons. Um, when you look at uh, the data booklet, the standard electrode potential of the manganese um, half cell is 1.49 plus um, 0 0.059 divided by one. And this is uh, logarithm of the oxidized our concentration which is uh, this one this is the the oxidized this is the reduced um oxidized uh, is, uh 0 0.5 concentration and the reduced is uh, 0 0.1 and the correct evaluation of this will give you um uh, electrode potential of non-standard um and non-standard condition for this manganese half cell is 1.53 uh, volts so that's what you write here uh, the plus is uh, a must you don't just leave it assuming that we will understand you mean uh, positive so calculate this uh, the e cell under this condition of course the the e cell of um, bromine uh, half cell and the um, manganese half cell when you combine them you get electro uh, electrochemical cell so we want the e cell of that the standard electrode uh potential of that cell and therefore e cell is always equals to the uh, the e, uh the electrode potential of the reduced uh cell minus the electrode potential of the oxidized uh, cell the reduced cell is the more positive the oxidized cell is the less uh, uh, positive or the, uh, the more negative. So um, the electrode, uh, the reduced um, is what you have calculated here, uh, 1.53 minus, you look at the data booklet to get the electrode potential of, um, uh, standard electrode potential of bromine, 
which uh, happens to be uh, 1.07. When you do this uh, subtraction, what you get is plus 0 0.46 uh, volts. So the E cell will be plus 0 0.46 volts. Write an equation for the overall reaction of the overall cell reaction that occurs. Overall cell reaction. So for bromine, uh, sorry for, uh, so let's start with the manganese. So the manganese, uh, manganese 3, will re require one electron to be converted to, or to be uh, reduced to manganese 2 ions. And therefore, uh, bromine will have uh, bromine ions. Lucy one electron, uh, actually Lucy uh, one electron here, yeah, to be converted to bromine plus an electron. But uh, this should be bromine um, molecule, which is two. So we need two of this. Therefore, they will need to lose two moles of electron uh, right there. So we have one electron here, and we have two electrons there. So we need to multiply, we need to multiply the, uh, this one by 2, multiply the manganese half cell by 2 to make these two electrons, uh, these two electrons. Therefore the two electrons, since they are in the opposite side of the, the equa equation, then the two electrons will cancel out and therefore this will be also 2 and this will be 2, this will be 2 and therefore we can now add them up, can add the two equations. Uh, we add the two equations. Uh, so this uh, will be two manganese three ions plus, of course, the two electrons will cancel because they appear in the point both sides. Uh, two bromine ions. Uh, this will give us um, uh, two manganese two ion ions plus uh, bromine. Right there. So that is the overall uh, cell reaction that is going to occur when you connect the two half cells together. Uh, part C. An aqueous solution of copper 2 sulfate is electrolyzed using copper electrodes. A current of 1.5 amperes is passed for 3 hours. Uh, 5.09 grams of copper is deposited on the cathode, right? Of course, the anode will uh, dissolve in the solution. The color of copper to sulfate will remain blue because no, none of the copper ions are being removed. Uh, all the concentration of copper ions remain constant. The charge on one electron is this, 1.6 times 10 raised to power minus 9 coulombs. The relative atomic mass of copper is 63.5. Use this data to calculate the ex an experimental determination and determined value of the Avogadro's uh, constant L. Give you answers to give you answer to 3SF. So uh, the first thing we need to find is the charge that has flowed in this um, time period of three hours. Uh, charge is um, 1.5 amperes times three hours, you change that into seconds, so three times sixty times sixty. Um, correct evaluation will give us uh, the charge of uh, sixteen two hundred coulombs. Now we know that uh, this is the equation that takes place when copper ions are converted to copper uh, metal, so we need two moles of electrons to get one mole of copper Ion. So, um, if a charge, if a charge of uh, 16,200 uh, coulombs uh, gives a mass of uh, 5.09 grams of copper, then to get one mole of copper, which is 63.5 grams, how much charge will we require? Uh, this is uh, grams of copper, so we do cross multiply. So 16,200 times 63.5 uh, divided by 5.09. Uh, 
uh, this will give us uh, a charge of 200,000 to 102,102 Coulombs. Um, don't forget, or oh, remember, we have two, two modes of electrons there. So, uh, but two electrons, uh, two modes of electrons will be equivalent to um, because there is a what is removing this will be equivalent to 202 uh, 102 coulombs so one mole of electron will be one mole of electron uh, will be adding what charge you cross multiply uh, 1 times 202 1 2 divide by uh, 2 uh, this will give us 101 uh, 051 coulombs now we know that uh, avogadro's constant avogadro's con constant l is given by charge on one mole of electron on one mole of electron divide by a charge of one electron a charge on one electron charge on one electron which is uh, given here as 1.6 times 10 to power that so you've got here 101 uh, 051 divided by 1.6 times 10 raised to power minus 19 our correct evaluation gives us 6.32 times uh, 10 raised to power 23 so then the calculated experimental value for Avagaro's constant here is 6.32 times 10 raised to power 23 of course we know that Avagaro's constant is 6.02 times 10 raised to power 23 so basically uh, this is a little bit higher, which means there are some experimental uh, errors that occurred. Of course, um, uh, 6.32, 6 these are two, uh, 3SF, what you're supposed to give here. Uh, you're supposed to give to 3SF. Of course, if you don't give to 3SF, out of these 5 marks, you might lose a few marks. So that is how you get that. Uh, part D, explain why magnesium metal explain why magnesium metal cannot be obtained by electrolysis of dilute aqueous magnesium sulfate your answer should include data from the data booklet of course this means that we have to get the electrode potential magnesium uh, half cell magnesium in a reduced form uh, will receive two electrons uh, to give us magnesium therefore the electrode the standard electrode potential of magnesium half cell is minus 2.38 volts. And of course, since it is in aqueous solution, then of course, this is magnesium sulfate. The ions present here will be magnesium uh, sulfate ions, uh, hydrogen ions, and OH ions. And therefore, uh, we need to understand that uh, the less reactive or the species that has got of this is a um, plus two uh, so between magnesium and hydrogen ions the one that has got the low um, um, the more positive uh, means it is easily um, reduced and therefore that is the one that is going to be reduced so we compare the electrode potential for magnesium half cell and hydrogen half cell and hydrogen half cell um, has got um, of course it is going to receive also two electrons uh, to give us hydrogen and therefore the electrode potential of hydrogen half cell is always 0, 0.00 volts so this is more positive than this so hydrogen is going to be reduced um, readily compared to hydrogen uh, magnesium and therefore uh, the explanation here is uh, hydrogen hydrogen is easier to reduce compared with the electrode um, standard electrode potential 
easier uh, to reduce um, than magnesium. And magnesium. Uh, reason being, uh, hydrogen has more positive, has more positive uh, standard electrode potential. Uh, zero zero is more positive than minus two point uh, three eight. So. Uh, that's why magnesium will not be cannot be obtained by electrolysis of dilute aqueous magnesium sulfate. Uh, that's it, guys. Uh, these are the two questions that were set in October, November uh, of 2019 series on electrochemistry, and um, had you to get more topical questions from this site, uh, solvedpapers.co.uk, and uh, practice. Um, uh, solve these questions uh, as you prepare for your forthcoming CIE exams. Uh, if you need my help, you know where to get me, uh, spacademy.co.uk. I'll be glad to help you out uh, with your preparation for the forthcoming exams. Hopefully, I'll see you in my next video. Guys, cheers.